Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, students. Welcome to our online learning prepared by foreign teachers in Pratum Suksa 6, Anuban Chunburi School. We are now on our 31st lesson and we are having our uh, review in unit one of your book or chapter one of your book. Okay. My name is Teacher Edward and I am your speaker for today. So last time, last Monday, we studied about the six types of nutrients. Can you still remember? What are the types or the types of nutrients that we study? Carbohydrates, Protein. proteins, Protein. fats, vitamins, minerals, and water. Okay, very good. Uh, six types of uh, nutrients. Okay, so we did study about the types of nutrients, example of each food group, example of carbohydrates. What are example of carbohydrates? Rice, cakes, cookies. For proteins, we have fish, chicken, milk, tofu, meat. Uh, we also study uh, the benefit of each nutrients like protein, it helps for growth and repair. Carbohydrates give us net energy, uh, vitamins and minerals. Uh, we need it for growth and for our body to work properly and water as well. Okay, so we study the benefits and uh, functions of each nutrients. We also study what is a vegetarian, right? Uh, I included in our lesson last time about uh, vegetarianism, uh, the people who don't eat meat right uh, can we have a balanced diet or can we have a healthy body if we don't eat meat yes or no yes because uh, for example protein maybe that is the main problem that you're struggling with like how can i survive if i don't eat meat where will i get protein but we can actually get protein from milk from uh, nuts right avocado so those are very good source of uh, protein and fats okay so uh, here are the types of nutrients that we study and uh, here are the vocabulary words that we study last uh, monday energy growth nutrients exist exist means too much constipation repair caution and fiber and uh, in fact, I let you copy this on your notebook, <clears throat> right? I let you copy it in your notebook. So hopefully you are done uh, copying this and answering as well, because it will be part of our uh, quiz later on. Okay, so here you can see the, the quiz here. Uh, we're going to answer this one, science quiz number three. Okay, so this is the third quiz, and we are going to answer that later on. So our topic for today is all about balanced diet. Okay, so we are going to study how to plan a balanced diet. What is a food pyramid? What are the factors that affects a person's energy requirements? And how long or how to compute our BMI and what is BMI, okay? So for our warm up, let's watch a video right here. I will share my sound. Okay, good. Hello friends. Welcome to a new happy learning video. Today, we are going to learn a bit more about healthy eating. Something very important to all of us. We already know that healthy foods are fundamental for our existence. They help us grow, be strong and be healthy. To eat healthily, one must learn about the variety and quantities of the food we eat. We need to learn about the food pyramid and follow its steps. Here it is. The first step on the pyramid, the smallest one, 
is the one about fats and sweets. It's the favorite one by all children. But to be honest, it is the worst one. One must eat very little or nothing from this deck. Pastries and sweeties are delicious, but they contain a high number of calories, which are very bad for our body. They make us fatter and don't help with anything. In fact, many doctors agree that this sector is very bad for our health. The second step is formed by meat, fish and eggs. It is very important to vary these foods every single day. You shouldn't just eat meat because you don't like fish. In fact, we should eat more fish and eggs than meat. The third step is all about dairy. This group consists of milk, cheese and butter. I especially love yogurts. We must eat these foods from one to three times a day. The fourth step is extremely important because it evolves around fruits and vegetables. These foods fill our bodies with vitamins and minerals and allow us to stay in shape and be strong. Doctors recommend to eat these five times a day. If you do, your body will thank you. The base of the pyramid, fifth step, is the group of the carbohydrates. Here you can find cereals, bread, pasta, rice and potatoes. They are also very important, so we must eat them daily. As well as following the different steps in the pyramid, we need to take into account the advice of doctors and nutrition experts. One must try to eat at the same time every day. Eating with family will always be beneficial. And also drink plenty of water. But most importantly, every day we must do some kind of physical exercise. If we eat healthy and do exercise, we will grow strong both mentally and physically. So now you know. Bye friends! Ah, and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Alright, so thank you for watching the video. Uh, now we will go to our vocabulary words. Uh, I want you to turn on your microphone and read it uh, or repeat these words after I will read them. Okay. Number one, diet. 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 I hear only two, three students. Let's read it again. Number one, diet. 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 Number number two balance. 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 Number three adequate. Adequate. Number four variety. 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 Number five obesity. 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 Kilo calories. Kilo calories. Kilo calories. And number seven, moderate. 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 Okay, thank you. So as you all know that today uh, I, we will going to answer the science quiz number three. And these vocabulary words will be part of that science quiz, the one that I let you copy on your notebook last time. So the same thing with this, uh, next Monday, when we have our class, we are going to study this as well, okay, in a Google quiz. So please pay attention. 
Diet is the amount and type of food that a person needs. You can copy these vocabulary words in your notebook if you want. Okay, so that on Monday, you will be able to answer uh, the Google quiz. Number four. Okay, so diet is the amount and type of food that a person needs. Number two, or the second word here is the word balance okay you can see that the cat is trying to uh find the balance while he is on that i don't know what that thing is okay so balance it is a situation in which different things exist in equal correct or good amounts so it means it's balanced no uh for example when you work and when you play at home as well and exercise you need to balance it's not good that you will always uh, exercise, but you will not do your homework. It's not good also to just focus only on your work, doing all the things that you need to do as a student, but you uh, neglect exercising. It is not good as well. Okay, so we need to find a balance in everything that we do. Next one here is adequate. Adequate means satisfactory story or acceptable in quality or quantity so for example adequate sleep have you had an adequate sleep last night okay so that is the meaning of adequate means enough okay adequate means enough or satisfactory uh, time uh, in terms of sleeping okay so every day or every night we need to have our adequate amount of sleep or else we will be sick or there will be some problems in our health later on. Next question is variety. Variety is the quality of state or quality or state of having different forms of, or types. So for example, you go to the mall, okay? When you go to the mall and then you can see their variety of, uh, variety of for example uh, activities for kids like rock climbing or uh, a playground so there's when you go to some malls they have a variety of activities that they are offering or some uh, I went before in where is that Siam City I don't know where is that in Bangkok probably around Bangkok and then they have a variety of rides, like a boomerang. They have a giant drop. Uh, so there's a lot of activities there. So when you mention the word a lot or different types, you can say variety. Okay, variety of food, for example. Uh, we need to eat the variety of food every day. We should not eat like fried chicken, fried chicken, fried chicken always. There should be a variety uh, including our fruits and vegetables. <clears throat> we need to eat uh, different types of uh, fruits and vegetables every day. Okay, this one, obesity. Uh, hope you can uh, still remember what is the meaning of obesity, putisan. Uh, this is an example of uh, obesity. No, Obesity means uh, overweight or very, very fat. Okay, obesity means not only fat, it means you are very, very, very fat, which is not healthy. Okay, so look at the, the picture here. It's like 5,830 pounds, It means it's already very big. Okay, so it's the condition of being grossly fat or overweight. Fat sometimes like, uh, for example, who is chubby here? Okay, for example, uh, I can see, uh, I think Putisan is uh, the only one uh, turning on the camera here with a little bit uh, chubby. Okay, so if you look at uh, Putisan, the face of Putisan is a little bit chubby. But the problem with that is that when you become more than that, when you become very, very fat, it means you will become obese. Uh, you will have a lot of problems like in your heart, okay, hypertension, and uh, 
You know, there's a lot of problems. You cannot even walk properly. There are some people who are very obese. They cannot stand up anymore. So, uh, and their heart is, you know, having some problems every time they move because they will get tired easily. Okay, so the main reason why people are becoming obese is uh, too much intake of kilocalories. Okay, it means if we are eating too much French fries, uh, burgers, uh, there's a lot of uh, calories that we can get from them. And if we will not use that energy, it's okay, no? It's okay, Nataya, if you, you're going to eat a lot, but you're going to exercise also. But the problem is that if you are eating too much and you are not exercising, then uh, you will uh, become obese, okay? You become fat. Okay, and the next word here is the word moderate. I think this is the last word. So moderate here means the average in amount, intensity, quality, or degree. Okay, so for example, when you uh, exercise, it should be moderate only, not too much, not too little. Okay, just moderate. When you bike, when walking or running, it should be moderate only. All right? Or when you eat as well, everything should be in moderation. Not too much, not too little. Okay? Uh, time for our quiz now. Uh, let's try to answer this. <clears throat> we, have here, uh, we have here a quiz. Fill in the blanks. And you need to answer uh, questions number two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Number one is given to you as an example. So it says here, I am trying to abstain from sweets for my new diet. So the answer there is diet. All right. So, okay. Some students just join us. Okay. So, I am trying to abstain from sweets for my new diet. So, that is the correct answer there, diet. What about number two? Who wants to answer number two? Who wants to answer number two? Uh, I will call somebody now. The reason of blank can be very different. The most common reasons are poor diet and lack of exercise. What is number two, Chuntira? Chuntira, what is your answer here for number two? The synonym of this is uh, becoming very fat, okay? I don't know. Okay, let's ask Nataya. Um, obesity. Obesity, very good. The reasons of ob obesity can be very different. The most commons, uh, common reasons are poor diet and lack of exercise. What about number three? Try to keep blank between work and relaxation. Who wants to answer? Not Chanan. What is your answer here for number three, please? Natchanan, what's your answer for number three? Balance. Balance, very good. Try to keep balance between work and relaxation. Uh, Supakrit for number four. The newly opened mall offers a blank of leisure activities, different types. What's your answer? Moderate. Moderate is a wrong answer. The correct answer here is moderate variety or kilocalories. Now, so Pakri, try to answer again. Cal kilocalories or variety? Variety. 
Very good. Okay, variety. <clears throat> Next uh, item here, number five. Let's ask Putisan, number one. This school is perfectly blank for students' needs. Adequate, variety, or, or adequate, moderate, or kilocalories. Putisan, what's your answer? What's your answer here, Putisan, for number five? Kilocalorie. <clears throat> the school is perfectly kilocalorie. Sorry, Putisan, that is wrong. So what do you think is the best answer? Adequate, Putisan, or moderate? Adequate or moderate? Putisan, try to answer again, please. Moderate. Okay. Moderate is, is still the wrong answer. The correct answer here is adequate. Okay. This school is perfectly adequate for students' needs. Okay. For number six, let's call on Jinipa. Jinipa, what's your answer here for number six? How many blank? I'm sorry? Kilocalorie. Kilocalories, very good. How many kilocalories we burn during a 10 kilometer run? Very good. Now, the last item here is uh, kilo. Okay, number seven. I will just answer because you uh, saw the correct answer already. We bike from Bansuan to Bangsen at a moderate pace. Okay, so moderate means susu only, not too much, not too uh, fast, not too slow. Okay, so now I will give you uh, maybe one minute. <clears throat> one minute to copy or take a picture of this so that you can answer the Google quiz next week. Okay, so one minute starts now. Please take a picture or copy or up to you. Maybe screenshot is better, no? And save and then you can study that at home. Okay. One minute. I'm requesting also the students to kindly turn on your camera if possible so that I will be able to see you. Thank you. <clears throat> 10 seconds left. All right, time's up. One minute is finished now. So I hope you already did the screenshot and you can copy that on your notebook if you have time. Now, uh, great job, everybody. Now is the time for us to proceed to our lesson for this afternoon about balanced diet. So what are we going to do uh, in our review is that we are going to discuss a new topic today. And the lessons that we're going to uh, discuss today, we will answer in the Google quiz next week. And uh, the last time we, last Monday, we study something about the six types of nutrients. We are going to answer the Google quiz today. Okay, so something like that. I hope you will get, uh, what is this? You will get used uh, in our lesson on the format of our lessons. Okay, so the first thing here in order for us to have a balanced diet is that uh, we need to uh, eat the right amounts of nutrients that our body needs. Okay, so the first thing that we need to study here is the food pyramid because uh, food pyramid is very helpful for us 
to determine if we are eating the right amount of food uh, that our body needs. Okay, so a food pyramid is, uh, you can see there, the foods that provide us with the same type of nutrients, they are grouped together. Okay, so this help us plan a balanced diet. So we need to follow the food pyramid. I'm sure it is not an alien to you. Uh, I think we study this one in English science and in your Thai science, you study uh, food pyramid also. Now, uh, we need to remember that uh, foods at the bottom of the food pyramid should make up the biggest part of our diet. And the foods on top of the food pyramid should be taken in small amounts. So we have here a food pyramid. The first part of this is the carbohydrates like pasta, noodles, rice, and bread. Those are the good sources of energy that we all need every day. So we need to uh, eat a lot of this in order for us to have our sustained energy throughout the day the second group here uh, after the carbohydrates group is the fruits and vegetables okay which give us the vitamins and minerals as well okay so we have here carrots tomato uh, broccoli right uh, banana green apple and oranges there's a lot of fruits and vegetables we need to eat like durian what else uh, what are the food that uh, you have a lot here in thailand dragon fruit what else uh ganzones right and uh yeah there's a lot of fruits here in thailand and it's very cheap as well in the philippines if you go to the mall or if you go to the city the fruits and vegetables Fruits basically is very, very expensive to some part of the Philippines. Okay, the third group here, or let's say uh, fourth and fifth group of uh, the food pyramid is the milk and cheese and uh, meat, fish, and eggs. So we can group them together because they have uh, the same uh, sources. It will give us fats and give us proteins as well. So as you can see, sometimes we eat only rice and uh, fried chicken, right? So we can get only there uh, carbohydrates, fats, and uh, proteins. Sometimes we don't eat vegetables and fruits. Okay, so we need to uh, reevaluate the food that we are eating every day. Make sure that we can eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, okay? not only proteins and fats. Next one here, the top of the food pyramid should be eaten very, very, very little. Or I think it's okay. What do you think, Nataya? Is it okay not to eat fats, oil, and sweets? Fats, oils, and sweets, is it okay not to eat them? Or are we going to be dead if we are not going to eat them? Not maybe not. Huh. Now, we will not die if we will stop eating fats, oils, and sweets, right? But sometimes we just eat them because they are very yummy, no? But nothing will happen to us if we will decide uh, not to eat or drink those kind of food, like soft drinks, like uh, what are the food that uh, people like today? Milk tea, right? Milk tea. So maybe... I think uh, for me personally, I don't like uh, drinking milk tea. Uh, so I, it is not part of my diet. I don't know about you. Maybe Jira, you like eating or drinking milk tea or super quick. Me, I don't like. Okay. So we will not be dead if we will not eat them or drink them. So uh, now let's uh, proceed here. The nutrients. Here are the things that the... The different groups of people needs, for example, uh, babies and young children, they need iron because iron helps develop their brains. Adolescents, like all of you, 
you are now approaching adolescence, right? So you need extra energy. So that is why you need to eat a lot of carbohydrates, okay? And uh, in older adults, like your grandmother, grandfather, uh, their bones starts to become weaker. That's why they need to take in calcium and vitamin D. All right. So uh, here you can uh, refer this in your book, uh, page 10. And uh, here, here are the three factors that uh, determine our energy requirement. So first here is that the gender. It means males or boys tend to need more energy than females. So do not worry if you notice that why teacher Edward that Jirayu is eating a lot of food but he is not getting fatter. And uh, Natchanan will say, me, I eat the same amount of food that Jirayu is eating but I become fat. It is because the boys and girls have different muscle mass. Okay? So the boys have bigger muscle mass. So if there is a bigger muscle mass, uh, they need more energy as well. We boys, uh, we need more energy to move our muscle because our muscles are bigger than, than the girls. Okay? So since the girls have a very, I'm not saying they, have, uh, they don't have muscles, but they have less muscle mass. That is why they need less energy to move. Okay, so that is the first thing that we need to understand. Muscle mass for gender. The next one is age. The amount of energy that children need increases as they grow into adults. Would you, uh, do you think, Sopakrit, that when you are still in grade one or Patum one, you eat more than uh, now in Patum six? You eat more today, right? You eat more in uh, Pratum 6 compared when you were in Pratum 1. You need more energy because uh, you're big already. Your body is bigger and you need to uh, have a lot of energy. But as adults age, when you grow older and older and older, the energy that is uh, needed will decrease, okay? So like your grandmother and grandfather, they don't eat a lot of food because uh, they don't need to move often, okay? Because they're already old. The next uh, thing that we need to consider here, very, very important, is activity level, okay? Some people have physical activity. Do you have physical any physical activities? Nataya? Do you exercise in a week? Uh huh. What type of exercise you do? Just ride a bike. Ride a bike, okay. Where you are you riding the bicycle? From Chunburi to Bangkok? <laughs> or from Chunburi to Bangsen? Okay, or maybe around the house? Nah, around the house. Okay, so... It depends on the activity level. So if you want to uh, go with me, Nataya, we will bike from Chunburi to Bangsen if you want. Then we will go to Bangpra, then Nongmon Market, then go back to Chunburi. That's around 70 or 80 kilometers. Okay? Or maybe running. Who likes running here? Who wants to who wants uh, running to have the like exercise? Okay, so running is a very good exercise also. Or even walking. We need to consider like a little bit of exercise, especially now. I think uh, you cannot play football now, right? Because of the social distancing. So if there are people who has a very, very high activity level, they need to have more energy as well, like me. So since I have, uh, you know, uh, physical activities, so I need to eat more food, okay, which I like doing. So I like to exercise more and eat more, okay? That's what I do. So gender, age, and activity level. Okay, so here uh, we're, we have this one, uh, body mass index. If you have your book, you can open it in page 13. 
Okay, BMI, body mass index or BMI. We compute this one so that we will know if we are underweight, normal weight, overweight or obese. Okay, so below 18.5, that is underweight. Normal weight is 18.5 to 24.9. Please open your book so that you'll be able to follow along with me. 25.0 to 29.9 is uh, overweight and uh, obese is 29.9. I think, yeah. So last time when we had this, I tried to solve mine, right? Well, look at this. I am 61 kilograms before. When we study this one, I teacher Edward is 61 years old. Oh, 61 years old. 61 kilograms, sorry. 61 kilograms, but right now, teacher Edward is only, I think I'm only 58 kilo, kilograms. Okay, so uh, I, what is this? I decreased my weight in uh, like three kilograms. So when did we start studying this? Around June? June, July, August, September. Yeah, three months. September, October. Yeah, September. So around three months, I lost three kilograms as well. Okay, so, uh, but before I had the 61 kilograms and uh, 163 centimeters and I compute it, then the result is uh, here, my BMI is 23. So 23 is normal, right? My BMI is normal, okay? So now let's go to our practice time. Then after the practice time, we will do our uh, Google quiz. Okay, so these things that you can see in our practice time, Pirapong, uh, I will uh, I will include this in our in our quiz next week. Okay, so you can take a picture so that you can study uh, them. So we have here. Uh, we have here Yada's lunch. So we have Yada's lunch right here. Okay, let's darken this thing. So Yada's lunch does not provide him enough nutrients. Which group of nutrients is lacking in his lunch? Don't have what? Carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals. What do you think is lacking? Vitamin and minerals. Okay. There, are, there were no uh, sources of vitamins and minerals. French fries is, uh, what is this? French fries is fats, right? Fats and carbohydrates. Fried chicken is uh, proteins, proteins, and a can of cola. So not no source of vitamins and minerals. Now, name one function of nutrients uh, mentioned in A. So what is the function of vitamins and minerals in our body? Help in or help our body to? What's the answer? What is the function of vitamins and minerals? So you know Properly. Okay, for the body to work properly. Vitamins and minerals help the body to work properly. Very good. Now, which food group of or which group of nutrients is lacking in Yang's lunch? Here, bowl of rice, boiled carrots, and spinach, a cup of apple juice. Which one is uh is lacking in Yang's lunch? Protein. Okay, no protein and no fats. fats. Well. Okay, fats and proteins don't have. So I think here I la I write only Yang's lunch lack fats. Or we can uh, put proteins here as well. Wait, uh, it lacks it lacks proteins also. Okay. Now uh, name one of the function of the nutrients or, or name one of the function of the fats. 
Okay, so what is the function or purpose of the fats? It helps keep the body warm. Okay, and uh, it cautions the body organs. If you answered here, uh, proteins, so it helps. Okay, if your answer is proteins, it helps in growth and repair. Okay, so I'm just showing you the answers so that you will be able to answer on our quiz next week. So please take a picture of this, boys and girls, so that you will be able to copy the correct answer. Okay, next time. Okay, I will give you extra one minute to copy this. Okay, just take a picture and uh, you can study this at home. Okay, done, right? Because it's very easy to do the screenshot. And I'm sure that you know how to do the screenshot by now. Now let's proceed here. Uh, dough is, uh, has the 93 kilograms and the height is 170 centimeter or 1.7 meters. And the BMI is 32.2. What is the weight category of dough? Dow or Dow, I don't know. Okay, so what's the answer here? What's the weight category of the of this person? Obese. Obese, right? Because if you open your book, 32.2 here. Nah, 32.2 is obese, right? In page 13. Okay, so okay. What about cap here? Uh 18.4. What is the weight category? Underweight. Underweight. Why I can hear only Nataya answering? What about the others? Huh? I will call uh I will call someone else. Purama? Purama, what is your answer here about Maha? Maha has a 25.0. 25.0 BMI. What is your answer, Purama? Page 13. What's your answer, Purama? Or maybe uh, Pirapong. Pirapong, what's your answer here for uh, Maha? Overweight. Overweight. Very good. Thank you. What about 19.0? May I ask Natawat? Natawat, what's your answer? Normal weight. Normal weight. Very good. So thank you, boys and girls. So here in the, I don't know, I think you have it in your book, right? I don't know what page is this. Page, uh, what page is this? Ah, okay. So uh, I think you answered this already, right? So as older adults age, their bones become stronger. So they should take less calcium and vitamin D. I will include this one in the quiz next week as well. So it's false, false, and true. A two-year-old girl needs to take in more energy than a 16-year-old girl. False. Foods at the top of food pyramid should be taken in a small amount. True. Okay? So here, uh, is it still found in your book? I think, yeah? Yeah, it, in the same page. Uh, same page. So Surasak has a mass of 70 kilograms and is 1.7 meter tall. Does they have a healthy BMI value? Yes or no? Yes. yes. So we need to solve this one, right? Make sure that you know how to solve before answering yes or no. Anne weighs 40 kilograms and is 150 centimeter tall. Does she have a healthy BMI value? No. Okay. I think uh, she is underweight. Okay. Yeah, and Chai weights 110, ay, 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 110 kilograms and is 170 centimeter tall. Does he have a healthy BMI value? No. No, overweight probably or obese. All right, 
So at this point in time, boys and girls, I will now send you the link for our Google quiz today. So I will now send you the Google quiz. Please answer. We still have 15 minutes and I think 15 minutes should be more than enough for you to answer this. Okay. And while doing that, while doing that, I will, uh, okay, I will send in line as well. Okay. So, okay. I think that is uh, enough time for you to finish answering. And while you're doing that, I will check your attendance. So you can start answering now. Is number 20 here? Number 20. Teach it. Are you here? Teach it is absent. What about number 26? Tantisit. Jirapat. Absent. Number 37, Wiripon is absent as well. Wait. Oh, number 20 is here, la. Number, oh yeah, number 20 is here. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven is here. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. Okay. <clears throat> so the only absent is Tanyapak, Tanpisit, Tanyapak, and Tanpisit only are the abs are the only absent. Is still present? Oh yeah, twenty-eight. Huh? Yeah. Wait. 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 Ooh. Wait. Twenty eight is present. Yeah, Kanyapak is present. Jirapat and Tanpisit are absent. Okay, sorry. So let's see how many people finish already. Nah, not yet. Nobody's finished yet. So take your time, boys and girls. Do not answer very, very quick. Just answer correctly so that you will have a perfect score. Okay, I think uh, one student is finished already. <clears throat> uh, it was a uh, super crit to finish first. Okay. So I will uh, now start recording your scores.
screen. So number, okay, very good. Seven got 13. <clears throat> so I will be uh, showing you the screen so that you will be able to be updated uh, if you are done. Okay. So number 14 got... Time now is uh, 1.52. So I think we should be able to finish it on time. Please answer slowly. We still have plenty of time. Uh, but I want you to have a uh, big scores or high scores, no? Okay, so we have here number 19. Ten. Okay, 10 students are finished already. Good job. So maybe I will share to you the, the other screen here. So this is the screen where you can have, uh, where I put all your scores. And there are some students here. Uh, this is science quiz one, science quiz two. And now we are having the science quiz three. So if you can see that, uh, for example, there are some students here like this, okay, like Suwapit, Stanpisit, and Jirapat, they didn't have any answers here. Or they, I mean, they don't have any scores. So it means uh, that they don't have scores. Uh, we respond as well. Huh? So if they keep on uh, being absent all the time, they will not. Uh, and they will not answer, they will have a zero score, okay? Okay, number nine got 14. Number nine got here 14, uh, 24, got 14 also. The vegetarian, What is that? The vegetarian. I'm sorry, I can't hear you properly. The vegetarian. The, the answer. Ah, the vegetarian, yeah? Yeah, I wasn't able to. Yeah, I will check it personally. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Now, no problem with that. Anyway, all of you will have uh, the same. Wait, I will stop sharing. Maybe you will see the answers. We don't want you to see the answers. People that don't eat meat, who oh, don't eat meat, okay. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, very good. Yeah, it's okay. You got everything correct so far, so no worries with that. No worries. Okay, so number 34 got 10. 34 got 10. These quizzes, no, boys and girls, are very, very important because uh, if you will not do this one, I will not be able to give you uh, scores. Okay, and uh, of course, if you don't have score, when we are going to make grades, uh, it will be very difficult for us where to find uh, your score because you didn't do all the, uh, I mean, the activities. So make sure that uh, every time when I send you, your teacher will send you the link uh, for the, uh, uh, what is this? For the quizzes, make sure that you answer immediately because if you will not answer immediately, you will for, forget, no? And then when you forget, you'll not be able to answer anymore, okay? So uh, I think I gave you also the quiz uh, no, for health, right? For the first video for health, I gave you the answer. Uh, I mean, I give you the quiz, but very few of you answered that. So I don't know what happened, why you didn't answer. There are very, very few students who answered that. So I don't know. Maybe if we still have time or maybe I will just post in the line uh, for you to answer. Okay. Uh, okay, good. There are 18 students who are finished now. Number six got 10. Okay, at 33, got 14. Four, got 11. S 17, got five. And uh, 29, got four. Okay, so, so far there are 19 students now who are done answering. I'm still waiting for uh, some more students. Piradich is done, 39, 12, very good. 20 students, so 19 more students. How many absent today? I think there are a few people who are absent today. Okay, I'll just, okay. So make it quick, boys and girls. Uh, there are 36 students. So there are like, I don't know, maybe some of you already escaped or I mean, sign out already. But I already did the attendance, so it's okay to... Yeah, there were only two absents for today. All right. So I will start, I will stop recording from uh, here on, but I will not uh, turn off the Zoom yet because there are some people who are not finished yet. Okay, so I will stop the recording right here.